Hello students, I am Dr. Karthikeyan. Today we are going to see about the National List of Essential Medicines of India uh, revised in uh, 2022. As you can see from the picture here, uh, in, in the year 1996 it was prepared, then followed by 2003, 2011, 2015 revisions and the latest one is 2022 revision. India actually has adopted the WHO concept of essential medicines. So what is the criteria for inclusion of the medicine in the national list? The medicine should be approved or licensed in India. Medicine should be useful in diseases, which is a public health problem in India. It should have proven efficacy and safety profile based on scientific evidence. It should be cost effective. It should be aligned with the current treatment guidelines for the diseases. It should be stable under the storage conditions in India. Price of the total treatment to be considered. Actually, the medicines which are listed there, the price also should be considered. It is the total treatment cost, not the unit cost. And most importantly, fixed dose combination are not included now. The combination medicines don't have an advantage over the individual ingredients administered separately in terms of increasing efficacy. So reducing the side effects and improving compliance. So it is always better to use the individual ingredients medicines rather than fixed dose combination. That is the most important change. And lastly, the list of essential medicine is based according to the level of healthcare like primary, secondary and tertiary because the treatment facility, training, experience and availability of healthcare personnel differ at different centers. So the voluntary reporting of adverse events of medicines on which the international WHO program for drug monitoring is based is effective in identifying the undescribed effects. So this program is forming the baseline for medicine safety and pharmacovigilance. What is counterfeit medicine? According to WHO's definition, a drug or medication is counterfeit if it is produced with an intention to cheat. How can it be cheated by mislabeling or no active ingredients are printed or wrong ingredient is printed or the correct ingredient is used in an insufficient quantity both branded and generic products can be counterfeited there are substandard medicines which fail to meet the required quality standards they are out of specification so they are called substandard medicines whereas falsified medical products means that deliberately fraudulently misrepresent their identity composition and source this is falsified medical product see the falsified medical products they use like any other food ingredient starch potato starch chalk like uh, adulteration here also we see a lot of uh, use of these useless uh, things in the medicine which makes it substandard it's not a substandard it is falsified medical product even anti-malarial antibiotics are most commonly reported substandard and falsified medical product see even both in generic and innovator medicines drugs can be falsified. This is the most important data. An estimated 10% of medical products in low and middle income countries is substandard or falsified, which is a pathetic thing. How to identify a substandard or falsified medication? See, the examining the package or condition, spelling mistake or grammar error, checking the manufacture and expiry date, ensuring any details on the outer packaging, match the dates shown on the inner packaging, ensuring the medicine looks correct, is not discolored or degraded or unusual smell. Discussing with your pharmacist, doctor or healthcare professional as soon as possible if you suspect the product is not working properly. Reporting suspicious medical products to your National Medicine Regulatory Authority. It's a very important step in identifying substandard medical products. So what is the solution? Reporting is the most important thing here. You can report the details to Central Drugs Standard Control Organization, CDCSO. The quality control is uh, maintained by this CDCSO. This institution was established in the year 1945 and it is responsible for the quality control of the drugs available in India. The CDC was headed by the Drugs Controller General India. So when we are asked about a question about essential medicines and counterfeit medicines, these are the points that should be in your paper. If you like this video, press the like button and share this video with your friends studying community medicine, public health or preventive and social medicine. Kindly subscribe to our channel, Community Medicine Made Easy. Thank you.